Hello, everybody. Welcome back to OCRP. Once again, we're going to be out here in the county this time, and I am going to roll with this slick top sheriff Taurus with the red and blues with the side runners on it. Very good looking car for sure. I'm not a huge fan of those big plates you put in the back windows there, but I'm going to roll with this for now and we'll see what we can get into. Somebody on a bicycle just flipping me off. No big deal at all, right? <laughs> What are they doing? They're kind of riding in the middle of the road there too. Just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna stop this person because they're riding in the opposite lanes of traffic. And they are not listening to me. I'm gonna pull it over. I guess not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pull over to the side of the road on your bike. All the way to the left. All the way to the left off to the road. Stop the bike right where it's at, right there. What? What? Yeah, what? I'm telling them they're, they're riding a bicycle and head on towards traffic. 127, I'll be out with a, a bicyclist at 946 Route 68. Hey, settle down for me, okay? Tweaking out what? and going crazy on me, okay? Hey. The reason why I'm stopping you, it's because you're riding your bicycle into head, you know, into oncoming traffic. You're gonna get hit. I just try to be safe. Well, being safe would be on the side of the road, you know, share the road with bicyclists. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be on the side of the road that the Damn. traffic's going. So that's the reason why I'm stopping you, okay? I'm just trying to make sure you're not getting hit by a car. When was the last time you were arrested, Metro. Crystal? Hey, can you punch yeah, me at cat no. number five? You don't know. Can you do me a favor and just hang street. out in front of my cruiser here? Got a, uh, yeah. Reckless yeah, don't move around too much. Just about, just right here in front of the push bumper, okay? Whatever. You're not under arrest or Eight anything like that, okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna. I don't want to go to jail. You're not going to jail unless you have anything illegal on you or anything like that, okay? No. And you're moving around on me like that. You're gonna get. I'm gonna have to detain you. I don't want to have to do that. Can you settle no. down for a second? I. No. No. Okay. Ow. All right. One, two, seven, County. No. Just a second Try here, Crystal. Yeah, can you send me another Not one? Uh, they're day. very nervous and moving around on me. I'm just right here at 946 across from the uh, prison. Damn it. Ow. Two, four, break. Zero, five, right. zero, County. Just, just chill for a second, okay? Two, four, show me around right down the road. <laughs> Stay right there, Let's all right? You're fine. You said your name's Crystal Sanders, like the Colonel, okay, right? Yeah. All right. Crystal what Sanders right here. There's her previous active. Oh, she has got a warrant. She does have a warrant. All right, Crystal, you're moving around a lot on me, okay? County five. Oh, I don't know how to use yeah, my you're feet. scaring me a little bit. Five zero nine seven twenty one forty. Your face away. Do you have anything illegal on you? It's gonna poke me, stick me, harm me in no. any way? No. No. Okay. Uh, All right, well, I'm letting who's you. Who's that? Oh, I'm, no! Yeah, I'm letting you know, right? Well, you weren't honest with me. I was asking you the last time you've been, you know, you, you've been arrested and things uh, like that, and you're moving around on me constantly. I have to put these cuffs on you, but I'm letting you know right now you're being placed under arrest because you have a warrant. Did you know you have a warrant? No, with the warrant for? Damn it! Okay, well, we're going to tell you what the warrant's about in just a minute, okay? What? All right. Here, just be nice to uh, be nice to this deputy here. We're gonna let it. you know. We're gonna let the uh, the judge know you're being cooperative and stuff with us right yeah, now. Yeah, you can show me back tonight. Yeah, my feet hurt now. I That's understand, but I, I mean, need an ambulance. this could have been as you need an ambulance. Ow! I need oxy. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, Miss Sanders here. Uh, was riding her bicycle, head on towards traffic. I was stopping to make sure she was okay and she wasn't going to get killed uh, by not riding with the flow of traffic. And she's got a prior warrant here. I'm going to get the uh, details on that and we'll go from there. I haven't searched her yet if you want to do that. Okay, I got you. You don't need to lay down like that, Crystal. Just just a second here. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna figure this all out, okay? Yeah. One thing I like to do is I like to give our civs, you know, an easy out. Trying to catch up to a convertible sports yeah. car so here it is right here yeah. to fail to appear for court uh, for theft charge so we're gonna see and make sure that it's good like starting to pop off in the county that's usually how she goes man 
or a temporary air support. Needle cap uh, wrapper dirt. Okay, all right. So there it is. I'm gonna place this uh, this stuff right on this officer's hood right here. Okay. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've lost eyes. Me down to ABD. Is that a gunshot? Did you ID anywhere? Uh, or does uh, the dead lost eyes? Yeah, like, Look through Polito real quick and check if they can uh, check the okay. odds. All right. Polito on the west side. All right, Chris. So I'm, I talked to yeah, this dispatcher. We're, 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 we're just gonna see and make sure that that is an active warrant. Okay. Almost to Polito. Yeah. Current time. All right, Oops, you can do me a favor and remember. Do you know what that would be about? What that warrant would be for? No. Okay. All right. Well, the dispatcher's telling me that it's active right now, and you're gonna have to go to jail for it. Okay? It's. Uh, no. It was failure to appear in the court. You didn't go to court. No. Did you tell me I got? Did it? Yeah, usually when you get a a ticket or something like that, they tell you the court date on that ticket, yeah, or you yeah. know, thirty days from that. That uh, offense, but yeah, you didn't go to court when you're supposed to. So now the judge uh, wants to talk 51. to you. Whatever. All right. I see that there was a needle cap there. Are you still using? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been using? Too long. It's been like oh, 33. I got him. He's at the wrong seven station. Seven years. Be, uh, seven years. Black uh, and silver. Get it. Sports car. All right. Bike. Well. What we're gonna what we're gonna do is just now let you know that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by State of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Yeah. All right. So you didn't get a you didn't get a, a lawyer last time. You just used the the state one. Good. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a lawyer. Can't afford it. Three zero two four. All right. Three zero two four. So you have two options here. We can take you down to BCSO ourselves, or we can have a, a transport unit come pick you up. What you want? It doesn't matter. Eight three tango tango lima seven four five. Well, with that said, we'll just we'll just take you down to BCSO. Okay. Whatever. All right. Watch your head when we put you in there. We'll put the seatbelts on you too. Bravo one county status check. Oh man, is your bicycle gonna One be okay sitting right here? Uh, Do you want me to push it off off the road a little bit further next to those trees over there yeah. on the right? Okay. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll do one even better for you. I'll, I'll put it on the back of my uh, car and I'll take it with me. Okay. Yeah. All righty. All right. I got your bike on the back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Make sure nothing happens to it. <laughs> uh, we've dealt One, with Crystal before a long time ago. Check. I haven't seen them in a while. This would be a first for me. Yeah, one engine potty, if you can roll. Uh, right, right we'll here. take uh, take them and their bike here to BCSO. Are you still in front of the airfield? You know, you got to go yeah, to court whenever the, they uh, tell you to. Have to get the, uh, then you don't have to go through this whole thing. Clear out this, uh, marijuana grow. What is going on here? Zipper. I'll, uh, the airport. Blaine County. Yep, you're in Blaine County. You freaking Blaine County. Okay. <laughs> what is going on up here? Um, not really sure. I'm gonna go around it. A couple standing short. Oh, person on a mo on a uh, not a motorcycle, but a wheelchair. Okay, cool. Watch your butt. We can turn here. Yeah, we'll we'll get them in their bike to safe. At five, seven, six, safety here. Alley. He's requesting. But EMS yeah, if she was uh, getting close to getting hit by a car. Hey, stop moving around I'm back there. The Alley, what's your closest uh, street? Yeah, do it. We don't want to have to subdue you and doing all that nonsense, okay? Uh, we're right off of Vine. Going easy here. I'm going to make sure your bike's going to be okay and all that, all right? Yeah. Now, let me get your bike off here first, and then we'll get you out. All right, there we go. I'm going to move this over here. Actually, do you mind moving that over there? Just uh, chain it up on the, like, next to the bench or something. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'm going to get Crystal out. All right, Crystal, watch your head. All right, Crystal, I'm going to turn you right over to these uh, gentlemen right here. They're going to take care of you and process you. There you go. You have any questions for us, for Crystal? No. All right, make sure you go no to court problem. next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh wow! Yep, that was an interesting one. Appreciate the help oh, on that, man. Help. Hey, no problem, no problem. All right, Good. I'll see you. Okay, this Caprice here is driving very poor, and they've been tailgating this car in front of them. I think we're gonna have a chat with them and see what that's about. Uh, They're honking the horn one. and everything Keep else. So. They got one at gunpoint now. It looks like. Oh man! Well, we're gonna be pulling this uh, Caprice four, over. Sandy units, are you ten four? I thought I'd tell you he's deployed. He started ramming us with his, oh, with his wheelchair. All right. Seven or taser deployed. 
Let's yeah, see what's happening. Here. Should be he's fighting with officers. He's fighting with officers. Foot bail. Oh man, they got a something happening over there. That's all right. I can ha handle this one by myself. I'll just uh, show that I'm on a traffic stop here. Continuing to fight with officers, and he just got knocked out. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's make it quick. I'm just gonna give him a warning anyway. Right, hey, good evening. How you doing? Bandy, My name is Deputy Fabiano with the Blaine County yeah, Sheriff's uh, Office. The reason for this stop is you're driving. You're, is everything okay? Kind of hard to keep it in between lanes there, and then you're tailgating and honking and all that? Oh, yeah. So uh, we're just trying to get to a house over here off of Chola Springs because they're okay. selling a dresser on Face, uh, face the Grand Marketplace. Okay, and, I got gotcha. uh, Cynthia Jean over here needs a new dresser. Oh, okay. Hi there, Cynthia. Uh, it, what's your name, ma'am? Oh, my name is Charlene. Charlene cool. Griffith. All right, Charlene Griffith. Miss Griffith, do you have, uh, or Mrs., do you have your driver's license and proof of insurance of the vehicle on you? I should do, and it's Miss Griffith ever Miss, since okay. Donnie passed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's all right. It's better for the two of us. One to seven, County. Good. I'm on a 1050 at a 1027 uh, right now. It's going to be right at uh, Choice Springs. Here you go, and there's the insurance as well, sweetheart. All right, uh, appreciate you know, that. Don, Donnie was great, except, uh, you know, he, uh, he 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 ended up not having an airbag when we got into a crash, and that just sucks. Okay, I got you. So what's going on with your driving tonight? Oh, I, I honestly, officer, I was looking at the phone, trying to see where the... Uh, where the, this place was on the GPS, you know, we're okay. trying to look at the trails and it doesn't do a very good, good job. All right, Charlene. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to just run your information. If everything checks out with you in the car, you're just looking like you're going to get a warning on that. Okay. Okay. I do appreciate that. Deputy. Yeah, thing. no problem. Do me a favor. Just remain in the vehicle. Don't get out or anything like that. Okay. You guys should just have a chat amongst yourselves. Oh, for sure. All right. I'll be back in just a few. All right. So... They're driving terrible. We pull them over. Obviously, that is the case here. <laughs> oh, man. Charlene Griffith out. with her Thanks. wonderful Thanks. pumpkin uh, shirt here. Nothing here. Clean. Oh. There's the Caprice right there. Registry is valid on it. You can see right there. Uh, R.I.P. Don for her husband that has passed. There you go. Uh, that's the Caprice valid. Everything checks out good there. All right, Charlene, I'm a man of my word. Here you go. Just uh, going to be getting a warning today. Nothing uh, nothing else there. You have any questions for me? No, I appreciate it. I'll let Cynthia Jean look at the, the, the GPS board for All right. I would appreciate that. And uh, yeah, be careful with your driving. All right. Y'all have a good night now, sure. okay? Thank you, sweetheart. You do the same. Sure. All right. Take care. Thank you, deputy. And we'll have a good deputy. Oh man, yeah, not the greatest driving I've ever seen, but uh, that's all right. They mean they mean mean well. They were uh, they're going to like a Rest some sort of control. place to pick up a dresser or something, and they were looking at their phone. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I was just in the area. I thought I'd one. Did you let that I got you. Nope. Go it's all good, negative. man. Thanks for the help. Hey, no problem. All right, there you go. We're all finished here, and we'll turn our spotlight off. And we'll mark ourselves back to 8. 127050. Zero zero. Can you start towards 2025 O'Neill Way on a past robbery slash home invasion? 127, show me your route. Okay. Uh, home invasion slash robbery. All right, well, we're going to respond to that. Go three, and then we will uh, go ahead and reduce our siren there once we get closer. Uh, since it's a home invasion, they're going to be on scene. We want to get there as quickly as we possibly can. So, that's what we're doing. That has to be here on it. Yep. That's probably 050 behind me. They're responding, too. We're going to be en route to Union Road or the Union Way incident. All right. Okay, we're going to... Thank you for that. Locking the road with your stupid boat. We appreciate it. Bravo one. All right, so this is the home invasion. We are going to reduce immediately. Uh, even turn our lights off here once we get a little closer. Um, if we were to see him driving on the road, mobility Okay, I'm going to reduce. Hopefully they do the same. Yep, they did. Awesome. We're going to go in with no lights on or anything. Hopefully they shut theirs off. 
Look at that. Nicely Rescue done. I think that's Jason. Good job, Jason. We'll be on senior. We just don't want to spook him. 127, you can show me 97. All right, we're going to get out here and go from there. Rescue 2 is responding at 2217. Break. One, two, seven, yes, zero, five, a, zero, nine, they've got seven, a uh, home evasion one, going go on. I'm going to make sure everything's good and let yeah, everyone kind of keep an we eye. We do have a two-door rusty pickup truck, Chevy pickup truck in the front driveway. Door is open. I mean, we have a lot of units on, so hopefully we're going to be able to get some uh, assistance for one, them. Two, maybe seven, zero, five, zero, county. Here we go. I've got medics rolling for the injured person. They're going to be on the top floor. Just advise if you want them staged. Yeah, ten four. You can stage them, and if uh, Chilead County can uh, assist as well, we've got the far uh, west side of the property kind of closed down off the main road there. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna move in. Sheriff's, Sheriff's Department, if you don't let us in, we will be making entry. I said it's upstairs. Okay, we're moving in. Ten four. What was the twenty? It's uh, in front of the BCSO. Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's yeah. Department. You okay? Oh no. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. That chopper is so low and loud. It's okay. Hey, uh, yeah, we, we hear that you had a home invasion. Are you okay? Oh, my, I'm good. He broke my leg and beat me up. All right. Is he still in the house? No, I don't think so. Okay. You know what he looks like? Yeah, he's a white man, Fair black one. shirt, blue jeans. Okay. Fair one, go ahead. Just, stay, just hang in there. Where's it, Where's you, Where are you hurt at? Right on your knees? Check he broke your, my uh, leg and he hit my face um, a bit. Okay. Check. Well, we have an ambulance uh, just Got staged it. outside here. We're going to get you just the medical attention, okay? Okay. All right. One, two, seven. I made uh, made my way upstairs. I'm with that male that's injured. Um, we can roll the, the ambulance in now completely if you want to. I'm just going to set my gun down here for a second here, okay? I'm not okay. trying to scare you or anything. Uh, yeah, we have an ambulance coming in here. What, what did he use to hit you with? He had a crowbar. Crowbar? Okay. Do you know if he if he's armed or anything like that outside of the crowbar? Oh, no. It was just a crowbar. Okay. Well, I wonder if my roommate's home. His name's Chuck. Oh, I don't know. County Air One. We're clear. He said he was coming home a in a bit. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, th I thought you, we had County coming out here to pick Bravo him up. One. He's upstairs just around the, around the corner. This way. All right. Uh, and, he, and he's all right. Eight, nine, is his uh, face was hit pretty good, and then uh, his legs were attacked, Party. so he's right upstairs here. Okay. Are you still up here, sir? Yep. All right. Yep. Probably it wasn't the county that came in. They they came okay. in out uh, of station two here for you, so they're gonna yeah, check you over. Mr. Okay. Wayne here on the front of the BC. Okay. How's it going, man? What was your Same name, sir? Earlier. George Marlin. George That's Marlin. Uh, okay, George. Using his mobility scooter on the road that we confiscated. I will. Okay, so I think that uh, this subject is over here. They're talking to you right now. Good there he is right there. Go we'll find out what this is all about. Yeah, George, okay. Yeah, he's going to be all right. He's he's bashed up pretty good there, but uh, were you home whenever it happened? Yeah, I was I was outside working over here at the shed. Okay. Johnny Air One, we're going to be skid down. Can Andy you tell George's me, did you, did you see it? Anything go down or a oh, robbery take place? No, no, see that. I, was, I was outside. I I was doing some work, and the next thing I know, I saw the helicopter flying around, and then you guys showed up. So I, I didn't even know okay. anything happened to George. I didn't see nobody. Good. Yeah, we yeah, got a call about a home invasion a, slash robbery, and we show up on scene. On we way, treat it as seen. such, and George is upstairs hurt pretty good, so he's going to be going to the uh, hospital, it looks like, after the injuries he's sustained. Oh, that's not good. Can I, can I, can I see you? Yeah, you can see him once he gets, uh, he, he probably, here he comes now. I think he's going to be on that stretcher or maybe not this time. He won't be on the stretcher this time. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to figure out what's actually happening here. Did you, so do you know of a person that had a black shirt on or anything like that? I didn't see nobody with a black shirt at all. Okay. Well, that's what we were told. Uh, they look like there he is right there. It's George over there. Yeah. You, you can go talk to him if you want to. And what was your name, sir? Oh, what are you talking about? All right. Uh, Chubb? Chuck Livestead. Okay, so like the, uh, well, not like, like, a, not like the how fish. Would, how would Chuck could a woodchuck, Chuck a woodchuck, could Chuck Oh, there you go. Okay, I got you. All right. C-H-U-C-K. Yeah. All right, got you. Awesome. Yeah, Chuck. All right, you have any questions for us? 
Uh, no, I, I just I want I want to go see George. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Okay, George. Um, I'll I'll canvas the area. I'm gonna go north a little bit further, but other than that, he's gonna go to go to the hospital and we can clear out of here. Yeah, all right. And I got statement now for both of them. Go to one step. You can mark me back ten eight. I'll be uh be off of that scene. Step four. Didn't see anybody that matched that description. We looked around for a while. We asked the other uh, officers and deputies in the area, and they didn't see anything either. So one two seven nine zero one counting. Oh, there's Vito right there. One two seven. There he goes. Nine zero one. One two seven nine zero one. Can you start towards ten sixteen Algonquin at Liquor Ace on trespassing? Oh, trespassing. All right. One two seven. Show me your out. All right, let's go to Liquor Ace. Carf. Like, okay, you're going to be meeting with me. Spun around there. 12791. You're going to be meeting with uh, Ricky, the manager there, indicating uh, he's got a Karen refusing to leave. She's wearing a white top, red and brown hair, black jeans, and about 12 bracelets. Um, um, he's asked her to leave multiple times. She's refusing. 10 4. Uh, can you uh, send Sandy Shores that way as well for jurisdiction? Got to share the love. I'm gonna make a right turn. There's an air unit just hovering over the liquor ace, it looks like. A longer light. Had him on another call, but it looks like uh, one of them just cleared up. Stand by. Out of the way, one, buddy. Six, three, Sandy Shores. Yeah, disruption is happening. What is this logger light truck? Can you doing? also attach 1020 uh, correction? Okay, interesting. The liquor race for trespassing. Trespassing, and uh, we're going to be on scene shortly. I'd just like to uh, make sure that, you know, Sandy Shores guys that are in town, they can be on scene as well. Right, and nine, a one, six, dust storm just blew okay. in right when we got on Our scene. Our friend is throwing molotovs outside the fire station. I'm Very cool. I'm currently attached to another call if you want to deal with it. Uh, 10 -4. Um, that sounded big. Yeah, there was somebody throwing yeah, molotovs at the hotel when I he just drove threw. by, so. Oh, lovely. It's just a typical day here in Sandy. Right there. Yep, and another dust storm just, just popped up. That's fun, too. Well. Let's see okay. what's going on in here. Jeremy, five hey, check it out. Got Paul that right here in the house. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey. Yes. Hello. Thank God you're here. Okay, I heard about the bracelets, so yeah, that looks about right. What's going on? I, what bracelets? The ones on your arm. What about them? Oh, I just heard about them, so I figured it was pro it might have been Why you that, that we were going to show up and information? see. Well, you know, we like to know who we're going to be talking to, so it makes sense to me. I didn't hear about your bald head, but yet here you are. No, exactly. I mean, you've been knowing about it for a so while. Got, you guys okay over there well, in front of I the keep fire station or no? Oh, the whole yeah. calorie here is good. Yes, what? Like what happened? I had three coupons. Out. Three coupons, all still yeah. not expired, for okay. five wine coolers for the price of two. Not one. So I got, there's three so separate ones. Right. So I got the, uh, 15 Karen, for the price is, of six, uh, right? Karen, Apparently okay. wrong. You can't stack them, but nowhere on the fine print says you can't stack them. I mean, that's pretty general knowledge that you can't do that. That would be just like giving things away for free, basically. Haven't you seen extreme couponers? I mean, I've heard about it. So it's not something I'm into personally, but... It doesn't say in the fine print. So that means I should be able to get my 15 wine coolers for six... Yeah, for I, know, six. I, I know that, but it's like more of a uh, kind of like zero a five, code zero, of conduct of society to not do that. Probably. Yeah, well, that's the, it, it's got to be law, though. Five, zero, I'm I'm gonna I understand. I understand. Yeah, I'm going to steal your balls off. All right. Yeah, I think he's upset with you. He went and back there into his Bravo office and called us. Three, three. 33. Well, I just, I want my wine spritzers for Bravo this price. Three, and three. Can you start towards 941 Route 16? Okay. Uh, well, we have the Sandy Shores police progress. officer over here, and they're going to speak with you as well. In route. I like to share the RP. Hello, Mr. Officer. Johnny, Air One. That's hey, pointing. Right. Oh, you're good. Hello. Air One. All right. Yeah. I mean, since right. this is your, uh, your, your jurisdiction and where you and normally are, I'm just going to monitor well. and, and keep the story the straight county. as well. Get an identifier. Yep. No, um, whoever's cruise that is, you might want to check Step your trunk. Bravo 2. Uh -oh. Bravo 2 and what, what's going on in the trunk? Uh, I just saw, I think I saw Step someone climb into it. You have got to be kidding me. 
San I, Diego. I heard about that happening down in the city. Now it's happening yeah. out here. Yeah, I guess so. You can show me and one of right, these Let's damn copycats. Hey Paul, I got you. Uh, yeah, they. I don't. I don't know. You want to? This, this is my car, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop the trunk, I guess. Okay, well, I'm gonna stand behind you. Just... I'm gonna be 10:15 with a Mr. Hey, if there's anybody Wayne. in the trunk, uh, well, you might wanna let earlier. us know before we pop this thing open and shove guns in your face. Hello. Bravo 97. Okay, they're gonna play that game. Supervisor, stand by. Bravo 197. Be advised, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be an older man. Let me Jimmy. guess. This will be uh, who I think it is. Caller with his cane. He's got a pink sweater and jeans. Yep, you guessed it, and he runs. Dude, you're not gonna. That is the dude that did that down in the city a while back. Bravo one. Uh, I'm unsure. I saw it on the news. Hey. Uh, 050, I'm unsure on that name. I mean, I'm gonna I, search I the for, uh, trunk and, and uh, see what's going on here. County transport for me. What is? Um, I don't understand. Like, so, is, does he get off by hiding in the trunk, or? I, I don't know. That's like he would. They apparently what I saw on the news down in the city, that that was occurring, and they were doing that to get a ride from place to place. I don't know. Well, you got me, man. I don't. I don't know how he got in. He must have hit the button in the car. Yeah. They got in there and they closed it on him. I mean, I didn't lock my doors because you know we have that problem with the F FOBs. The batteries die yeah. on you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I gotcha. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Yeah, here's a box of strawberry rails in here. That's it. Classic. So he just gave me a box of. You know what? It's the season for giving. So, I mean, maybe well, that. Right. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and use my drug kit on this thing. I don't trust this. So, a Karen uh, call. Great I guess. To like, all I, I was like, here, here you go, Sandy Shorts. Shorts. <laughs> I, I was dying in my car. I was like, good for you, Jeff. Way to use all available resources. <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. This is this oh, is their spot. Oh man, I know. And we'll be here for moral support. But you guys, uh, you guys handle your calls in your jurisdiction, buddy. Negative for drugs, just strawberry rails. <laughs> I'm gonna say I chuck the strawberry rails into the trash. Uh, chuck. The straw, berry. Mr. Wayne has been turned over to the county. Rails All units out here be into the trash. Here. There we Come go. On. <laughs> oh, you can't use the, tr the quotations. Bravo 1 from 33. What's your 20? All right, we'll go find out what's going on in here with this. We'll be at a 946 on 68. And, nope. Oh, Trunkerinos. There we go. Are you, are you guys on 68 or are you up the hill somewhere? Let's see what's happening inside. Good on Paul, no, though. Look at that. He's, he's right rocking the uh, Taurus. He's got the low pro yeah, light bar on him, but still. The uh, FWC officer with you. Excuse hey, me, ma'am. All resolved. All right, wonderful. She got her spritzes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I told the, uh, the store manager that if he doesn't want to stack them, then he needs to put up a sign or print off some sort of regulation on the oh, yeah, coupons. Seniors. They'll be back for sure, I'm sure. Yeah. And he said they came from the wine company anyway, so it's not like it was his to say yes or no to anyway. He didn't make up the rules, so I don't see what budget. his problem was. Go ahead. All I'll right, well, since it's all resolved, I'm going to get on out of here. Yeah, me too. Did you? Was there someone in your trunk? Yeah, that, that guy that was on the news, uh, the guy that had like no shirt on or whatever, that was getting in police cars down in the city a while back. Yeah. Uh, he let himself into my car and left a box of strawberry rails nearby. I just chucked them into the trash. Uh, I, I did a drug test on him, so, you know, I didn't want yeah, anybody to okay. get a hold of him. Uh, Very strange behavior, but uh, if we see him, I'm going to stop and talk to him about it. Yeah. Okay. Which might be over there at the hotel. What I just saw over there. But one, all right, man. Three, Have a good one. We'll see you around. Yeah, stay safe you out there. Ten four, ten. Ten four, awesome. we're clear enough, man. You can show all three units back ten eight, I believe. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna be all back ten eight. And I think I saw that dude over eight, there eight, at the 24, hotel. All right, folks. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end this episode here. Had uh, had all sorts of crazy stuff happen. We ran into Crystal there, and she went to jail because of her warrant. And we had all that stuff happen out in Grapeseed, and then there you go. We saw Anita and uh, and Chuck, and he <laughs> up to their uh, usual antics. And what is this? Boy, oh boy. I'll tell you what. There's always something around here out in the county. That's for certain. Oh, he's yep, locking his door. Very cool. 
But that'll do it, guys. I will see you all next time. Take care.